All right, welcome back. Just wanted to show you uh, some of my favourite figures, I guess. That got me started in collecting. And uh, yeah, these these figures were upstairs and they've been moved downstairs so these were boxed up for quite a while had to uh, plaster this wall because it was damp and stuff so yeah he's been boxed up for a while uh, I'm not sure who these ones were made by I did look it up it's um oh, who is it anyway yeah, I might do some videos on these if you're interested, anybody's interested. These figures are... A couple of my favourites, quite rare I think. I think you can still pick them up on eBay. But, uh, got these for a really good price. Can't remember who they're made by. But yeah. That's something I can do a video on these another time. These are these come out way before the necker. And they've got the extendable tongue. It's got the dome. Nice colouring and on the ribs there. And you got the aliens version. Same. Does it I think it no. I don't think the jaw opens on that one. But yeah, very nice figures, them ones. Then you got the refreshed McFarlane one. Basically, this figure here from the set, they released it. You see the paint job on this one's got like a weird red speckly effect on it and you've got the predator there with the egg base that lights up and this one it's just more jet black nice figure then you've got the McFarlane uh, masked original pred come with the bloody spine that's why he's got blood over his arm was quite a hard one to get hold of. Now these are all pretty old. And you got the Predator 2 one. The arm comes off at the what does he call it? Bicep is it? Comes off there anyway. Or he got chopped. Some of the accessories are coming that one. And then you got this one here, it's the scar from AVP. And that's a custom head sculpt that was made by a friend of mine. Really nice. Shout out to Joe. Dark Power. Used to have quite a few of his figures that he's customised, but sold quite a lot of them. Well, sold all of them over the years. I've only got that one left and uh, a Drake from Aliens that uh, he customised. It was a Hicks. And you got the. This is the set that got me started in collecting. I don't know if it was this exact one, but this is a pretty good one. Had so many of these sets over the years. These wrist blades usually break and cannon falls off. So that's that. It's a nice, uh, nice set. And then moving down, got my little Tron collection. These are all um, original Tommy figures. Nick had done a, a reissue back in the 90s, but these are 
all originals. Let's have a look, what's the date on it? Hmm. Light in here is not great, so I can't make it out. Maybe you can. So you got the Sark. And then you got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive at the back. Uh, I can't remember which one's which there. You got Fl Flong. You got Tron and Flynn. And then you got the Warrior at the back. You got the new Night Cycle there. And you got Flynn's new old Night Cycle. And then moving down, you got the classic originals. I think two of these are Tommy and one's Necker. Let's see. That's a Necker. The other two are Tommy. They're really cool. Get a pull string, you pull it, and they fly across the, the rim. And you get and put the figures inside them, and then moving down finally, got my Tron 2.0 figures from the video game. You got Jet Bradley, son of Ad Alan Bradley, who was in the original film, and the story continues from the original film where uh, Jet gets sucked into the computer to uh, well, you play the game, you'll find out. This is my favourite character here, the ICP. It's got his disc, got his shield, got Mercury. I've got a life size figure of her, very rare. It's in the loft, I have to get that out at some point. And then you've got Thorn. These figures are not worth a hell of a lot, but sentimentality, I suppose, and I say it's what got me into collecting properly. So I always love my hot toys and customising, but got a special place for these little fellows. So yeah, that's what I shared them with you. And today uh, is Sven's birthday. So happy birthday, mate. I think it's your birthday today. Well... If not, happy birthday for when it is. I'm pretty sure it's today. And, uh, yeah, expect something in the mail in the next few days from me. There's nothing much, so don't be thinking I'm sending you more figures. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a little something. I think you'll like it. So, yeah, it's a little look at the uh, collection there. It's got a few bits over there. And I've got a few bits over there. Some more crap. Some more crap. More crap. More crap. There's <laughs> crap everywhere. But yeah, I thought I'd show you the, the good crap. Or the sentimental crap. And I'm just talking crap now. So anyway, yeah, happy birthday to Sven and I uh, hope you're all doing well. And uh, say if anybody wants to see any more individual videos on these, show them off a bit better light. Let me know. If not, I won't bother. <laughs> but yeah, I do like those ones. They're pretty cool. I mean, you've probably seen the rest of these before. I don't think many people have seen the uh, Tron 2.0 figures. But yeah, nice little collection was tempted to sell them off and get more hot toys but yeah fuck it fuck it all right catch you later see ya